What is going on guys? It's your boy Apathy and today we're going to be doing an advanced technique movement on Vanguard and we're going to be talking about the three biggest things and the three biggest tips I can give you guys and go a little bit in depth in and then we'll have a little secret tip at the end. Now a lot of you guys know I did do a movement tip video about a week ago kind of giving you guys all the movement generalizing it a bit. But we're going to go more in detail today. So if you haven't checked out that video, you can watch it before or after. It doesn't really matter. Now let's get right into it. So for the first thing we're going to be talking about is slide canceling. But not just about slide canceling. Because everyone knows most of the time about what slide cancel is and how to slide cancel. But we're going to be going more in depth in it. Giving you guys some tips and some more advanced movement you need to know. Especially in Vanguard. So really quickly, before we go into the details, if you don't know what slide canceling is and you haven't checked out my first movement video, slide canceling is basically slide, slide, jump. So you slide, slide, jump. And it basically does this uh, use slide movement where you're kind of maneuvering around the map. You can use it to move around the map. You can use it to challenge people. Uh, it's very effective around corners. And that's kind of what you want to do to slide cancel. You want to slide cancel around corners, kind of clearing stuff out and just being ready to... Um, I'll fight people basically and use it to camera people like that bang but let's talk more about site canceling and why it's so effective and how to use it uh a little bit more so the thing about slide canceling in vanguard it actually you can't spam it as well as you can in modern warfare or warzone so when you slide cancel automatically puts you into that attack sprint and there's a delay before you can use an automatic attack sprint again uh, to hit that second slide cancel if you want that full momentum so my slide cancel kind of slows me down and then i'm able to do it again a second later so what does that mean well there's two things you can do with this movement so there's a little technique you can actually do it's called the double slide cancel and if you do it correctly it allows you to go to full auto tax sprint mode right after so basically let's say i'm going to slide cancel this nothing slide cancel again and then I'm able to right away um, basically do the tax burn. I could, I could do a slide cancel like I would again normally. <laughs> so how does this work? So I'm going to do it fast so you guys can see what I mean. And not and not saying like I kind of played, did it slow or whatever. So I'm going to slide cancel. It's like, oh, I'm going to slide cancel, slide cancel. And look, I'm able to go full sprint again. Slide cancel, slide cancel, able to full sprint again. Slide cancel, slide cancel, able to go full sprint again. And this is a good way to, so basically, if you want to kind of clear something, you slide cancel here, slide cancel. Oh, this is not the best part to do it. But you can slide cancel here, slide cancel again, and you're able to fully sprint once again. Slide cancel here, slide cancel back, fully sprint again. So you can kind of use this technique to get ready for the full attack sprint. And if you do it correctly, um, basically, your full attack sprint will be up and you're able to move very fluid versus being kind of clunky. You're kind of just sprinting like this. You're like, oh, I could go again. And then you start doing going again. Another technique you can do when it comes to slide canceling is this is something uh, uh, a lot of good players do. Pro players like to do is you slide cancel like you would with the full attack sprint. And then you kind of give it a little preem, a little clear. You go again, a little preem, go again. And if you time this right and it becomes kind of muscle memory, you're going to notice that every time you slide cancel, it kind of becomes normal almost because by the time you're done for that second kind of like looking around, you're able to full attack sprint again. So this is another good way to think about it. Um, a lot of pro players do this. You know, you slide cancel around a corner, clear out real quick, then you keep going. And by the time you're ready to go, if you time it right, by the second, uh, you're basically able to full attack sprint once again. And that's going to make your movement a lot more fluid in Vanguard. Another thing to know about slide canceling and why it's so good in Vanguard, and I'm sure it's going to be used at all times, and something it was really good in, in NW, was the fact that it resets your auto, uh, your full attack sprint. So basically, if I were to full attack sprint, and by with double time, it's actually five seconds. I could full attack sprint for five seconds. Then I get to this very slow sprint speed. So this lowers down my sprinting speed, and it's just a lot slower. And you see, like, you have to kind of stop for a second to fully reset, and then you can kind of go again. So what this does, if you slide canceling while you're full attack sprinting, if you time it right, so let's say you want to wait. Okay, it's five seconds, right, with double time equipped. So a uh, one two three all right i'm gonna i'm gonna slide cancel to reset it one two three four slide cancel all right go again and this way you're always having the full tax sprint going at all times and you have that full momentum and like i said it does take a little muscle memory and practice but sooner or later you're gonna realize you can count one two three you can kind of count in your head um but basically if you just kind of do this and just kind of get your movement more uh, fluid you're gonna realize that you know what Damn, my movement is fast. I'm over here slide canceling perfect. 
I have my full attack, huddle attack up almost at all times, and it's going to be great. You're going to have a great time. So that is how to slide cancel more fluid and how to use it. Obviously, uh, with slide canceling, the most of the main time you want to do it is to slide cancel around corners and also camera people and slide cancel and chow them. But enough of the slide cancel. Let's talk about the next biggest thing of uh, movement and technique you should be using in uh, Vanguard, and it's going to be the bunny hop or just the regular jump shot. And there's a good way to do this. So obviously, sometimes you see gunfights, people jumping mid gunfight, which is good because you want to kind of throw them off, maybe hit some better shots. But another way to really effectively use the bunny hop and to just camera people is or just a jump shot is you want to strafe jump and jump around corners. So instead of just doing this, do this. And look how far I flew. So I jump shot. I was like kind of right here and I went all the way to right here. And that's a big difference, especially when it comes to cameraing people. This is a great way to execute the jump shot and really use it to uh, its full potential. Because you come around the corner so fast. If a guy's sitting here praying me and I hit him with that movement, with this movement right here, a lot of the times I'm going to kill him. Two reasons why. One, I'm pre he's pre-aiming me, but I'm also jumping around the corner, aiming at the location. So all I have to do at this point is just pull the trigger. So it's not like I have my guns down and I have to pull it up or I'm off sprint and I have to pull it up. I'm already aiming at him and all I have to do is shoot. So at that time, it becomes 50-50 or even in my favor by 5 to 10% because of the camera, because of Peeker's advantage that I'm hitting. I'm looking at him essentially first to make it even better. You can add the bunny hop into it. And I've explained it in my other video, like I said, but bunny hopping is basically as soon as you jump, you want to jump again and you can practice this just without aiming in. You can this is kind of okay bunny hop it's nothing special but if you're bunny if you're jumping as soon as you land that's mean you're doing it somewhat um but that's basically what it is and it's really really effective and it's even a bigger camera and it works uh one when you're trying to catch someone really off guard or two uh when you have some longer range gunfights so for example instead of me just strafe jumping here and going like this i can actually bunny hop and do it even even crazier you see that little bunny hop so it makes me jump from here to there and it's even a bigger camera it's a harder it's a harder movement to uh to follow up and i didn't do it there you see i missed time to jump it's honestly if you do it a lot you understand you start understanding the timing pretty well and it becomes just kind of natural to you and it's just look at that movement man like i've bunny hopped a lot of people in my career at mw and vanguard even Warzone, and i'm telling you like it gives you 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 win the gunfight majority of the times it's just so hard to keep up now for my third uh movement tip and in, in vanguard and it's a very big thing to know and to apply to your game because it was kind of you can kind of do it in Warzone a little bit but not to this extent and this level uh before we get into the secret tip you want to jump around without actually mantling things now you can actually accomplish this more in vanguard than you could in past cods so i mean to debate to first of all to kind of make it a little bit more basic you never want to mantle something because it you know your gun's no longer up your gun's no longer up if i have to mantle this my gun's not up right like that one second of me mantling gets me killed every time now if i can just kind of hop it look at that and the crazy thing about this game is it doesn't really fully require you to even if you're if you're not all if you if i land like right here it still gets me up which is really dope actually to have in this game so that way my gun is basically up at all times and i can fight people so same thing here i mean this one you don't really ha you can mantle it but this one's a little lower so it's a little bit easier more self-explanatory but if i want to jump here like i'm gonna do this I'm going to do this. Jump sideways. Jumping sideways is also a good technique because when you jump sideways, you don't doesn't the the mantle thing doesn't really pop up. So if I obviously like it says press um let me show you guys. It says press A or X to jump there. But if I if I mantle sideways, it never tells you that. So this is a good technique um to think about. So if I want if I'm about to, if I think someone's going to come here, I'm going to man like I could jump sideways like this and have my gun up. Instead of kind of like, oh, let me, first of all, let me get my gun away from the locate the area, which is a bad idea to mantle this and then turn like, no, just gun up, jump sideways. All right, guys. And a little secret tip uh, before I go is in this game and drop shotting is very bad, right? You don't want to drop shot for some reason. When you, when you drop all the way down, it, it makes your gun basically like if I'm aimed in, 
Look, it aims out. And then I have to aim back in. That half a second or one second will get you killed. We're playing Vanguard. TTK is insane. But a good technique to do with drop shotting is actually... It's basically snaking and pass cod, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But if done correctly, it can actually get you kills or save your life. So let's say I'm in this head glitch right here. Or I'm getting shot at and I lay down here. Now, a lot of times, if the enemy is close... A lot of the times they're going to eat, they're going to advance to push you because they know you're one shot or extremely weak and they basically can secure this kill most of the time. But the way the snaking works and the pop up glitch basically or peekers advantage, a lot of times you can drop down, jump back. You want to drop down, sprint forward and aim in right away and shoot. So if you're done correctly, I can literally go down and some back up back uh, instant pop back up almost and shoot. And by the time he's going from off sprint to aim in he's probably dead so just to know this drop shotting is bad but don't think you can't like finesse stuff or like kind of use cover to like pop back up right away it will help you tremendously and save your life and get you crazy kills all right guys that's gonna be it for me going in depth with some uh advanced movement techniques kind of explaining to you guys breaking down some things and showing you guys why it's actually important or how to kind of have your movement a little more fluid i hope you guys enjoyed this little tip video i did uh i thought it'd be cool to break stuff down and show you guys what like pro players do and how are their movements so good and techniques you can do and apply to your own game to have your movement looking a 100 so hope you enjoyed it make sure to like us comment and subscribe you know comment down below what other videos you'd like to see i'm actually really curious uh, what other content you guys would love to see so i can post uh like the video if this video helped you and you learned something new and also forget to subscribe to the channel for some of these okay love you bye